What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to go over a weird algorithm for CSES problem sets. Now, uh, you guys wanted to know, you guys wanted me to go over CSES problem sets, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I did solve a few of them. So I did some of these. Some of them I actually had to look at the uh, solution to see how they did it. But I'm gonna redo all the problems that I will uh, go over again so that I could explain it better to you guys. And then once that happens, uh, yeah. Once that happens, then uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna redo all these problems. And then once that happens, once that happens, then yeah, well, I'll show you guys how to do it. And then I'll give video tutorials for that. But without further ado, let's go over the first problem. Um, weird algorithm. This is not, this is not that difficult. So there's this algorithm where if n is even, you're going to divide the number by 2. If it's odd, you're going to multiply by 3 and then add 1. And we want to repeat this until n is 1. And uh, so the following sequence is 3, 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So in this case, 3 is odd, right? Since 3 is odd, we're going to multiply by 3 and then add 1. So that gives us 10. And since 10 is even, we're going to divide it by 2. That gives us 5. Now 5 is odd, so we're going to multiply by 3 and add 1. And that's 16. Then 16 is even, we divide by 2, that gets us 8. Then 8 is even, we divide by 2, we, we get 4. 4 is divided by 2, and then we get 2. So 2 is even, divided by 2, we get 1. Now when it's finally 1, um, yeah, that's it. So now you're tasked to simulate the, algor the, the algorithm with a given value of n. So print the line for all the values of n during the algorithm. So yeah, it, this problem is just an implementation simulation. So to do that, I'll just show you guys the code because it's actually not that hard. You just have to code this up. So um, I did this in one go. So, um, so yeah, I have a number called n. I read it in. Then I say while n is greater than 1, right, while it's greater than 1. Then I'm just going to print it out and print out a space. So I see out n and print out a space. And then what I'm going to do is if it's I check if it's even. So to do that, I mod it by 2. And when, it, when we have even numbers, that means that uh, the remainder, when you mod it by 2, is equal to 0. So that's why the answer is, if n is mod by 2 is equal to 0, then that means it's even. We're going to just divide n divided by 2. So n is going to equal to n divided by 2, and that gives us our answer for that. Otherwise, if it's odd, we're just going to take n, and we're going to multiply by 3, and add 1. So we're going to keep doing this until n is uh, becomes 1, right? If n is greater than 1, it's going to sooner or later it's going to become 1. And in the end, we're just going to print out 1. Because at, at the end of this, uh, yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. After this ends, um, n is going to be 0, right? Uh, or less than or equal to 1, and then we just print out 1, because that 1 is the last value. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the code. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is really easy. This, this problem is really easy. But yeah. Um, then yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll I'll do the rest of these problem sets again. But yeah, peace.